Okay. Your general survey, get the age of your uh, patient. Uh, so, uh, your performance checklist. Basically, physical appearance, uh, mark down the age, sex, level of consciousness. So, level of consciousness, patient is alert, oriented. Okay, ANO times three. You can put that down. Skin color is normal. Okay, when you say facial features, okay, don't dump, don't put down cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are Somebody checking if I'm reading green in your shirt. Turn in. Oh my god. Okay. Sexy. No, but some people yeah. are. You just. <laughs> I do read. I do read what you turn in. Even though my notes are very shallow. <laughs> Who will kill you? Facial features are symmetrical or asymmetrical. Looks smiling all the time. So it's symmetrical? That's what we write? Facial features are symmetrical or asymmetrical. Okay. Symmetry is one of the things in nature. If, you, if you, something's asymmetrical, there might be something going on. Okay? It, don't, it doesn't mean perfectly symmetrical. Okay? But just generally symmetrical. Okay, smiling. Smiling can go under uh, signs of distress. If somebody's smiling and cheerful, that basically means they're in a good mood and nothing's really bothering them. Or if they're distressed, patient is frowning, has voluntary guarding that says they're in pain. Okay, so you uh, mark that down. Structure. So you look, talk about body structure, talk about stature, whether they're tall, short, okay. Nutrition, whether they look well fed, okay, or emaciated, okay. <laughs> BMI, you're not going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to knock that out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. So, note their symmetry, note posture and position in the exam table. You look at their body build and you look if they have any physical deformities, okay. Uh, look at mobility. How do you assess mobility? Look at how they uh, move when you t bring them to the scale. Okay. Behavior. Look at their facial expression. Look at their mood and affect. How they speak. How they talk. How they. Uh, what their attire is and what their personal hygiene. Okay. Weight and measurement. You will be asked to bring the patient to the scale. So we want to see how you. Uh, Guide the patient to the scale. How, if you know how to manipulate the scale, okay. Is it gonna be broken? Okay. <laughs> the scale fell down. Oh, no, the height meter. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Off the scale, my bad. <laughs> the scale <laughs> fell on me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll make sure that the thing is fastened correctly. As far as I know, it's just falling off, but it's not, it still goes up and down. It's uh, in one piece. Okay? So we want to make sure that you ta ask the patient, your client, to remove uh, their shoes. I hate the sign. Okay? And then we want you to take their blood pressure. Oh, so we need to bring our stethoscope? Yeah. 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 So, Oh, we need to bring our own? Um, their blood pressure. Holy cow. Yes. Are we, are we going to be using the labs cuffs? The labs cuffs? Yeah. For the beep. The cuff down there. The cuffs down there? Or <laughs> bring our own. Or is it bring your own cuff? Uh, do the ones down there work? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the only thing. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has their own. Everybody has their own. No, just. Oh, just. Just use the one. Use the one down there. Use the one down there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Attempt to take the blood pressure. <laughs> All right. No, you'll actually have to. Go. You won't. You won't pretend to take the blood pressure. You will attempt to take the blood pressure. So if we can't, yeah, it, because there's something wrong with the screw or the bulb. We'll, we'll know. I Just bring your own. Yeah. We'll know who selects this one. Okay. If so, if you get general survey, bring in your blood, your uh, stethoscope, and your uh, and your 
PP code. You don't need to take the the or the pulse? Stop adding. Oh, cow. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Oh, we're we're adding more stuff. It's perfectly valid. It's the vital signs. So, how about? Oh, sir, we did that in our last checkoff. Yeah. Well, if you've already done it in your last checkoff, this should be no problem. Damn. Oh my uh, not sir, because we were spoiled at SNU. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have the electronic one. <laughs> yeah. So your last one is uh, document the findings. So right down there, patient is a 19-year-old Korean female. Um, <laughs> age of three, skin color, no bruises, noted facial features, symmetric, with no signs of distress. Okay. Yeah. Stature is short, nutrition well fed, well <laughs> Body is uh, uh, grossly symmetrical, sitting uh, without any uh, problems. Okay? No physical deformities noted. Patient walks uh, well across the room without assistance. Okay, range of motion is uh, grossly intact. Mood is defiant. <laughs> Speech is normal, dress is appropriate, hygiene is appropriate. Patient weighs so and so, height is so and so, vital signs uh, is afebrile, but uh, respiration is approximately 15 per minute, heart rate is about 60, and blood pressure is 120 over 80. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> that is what she said. <laughs> so, uh, just summarize that by saying, okay, you, you cannot write patient looks fine. Okay, no. Damn. <laughs> Man, I forget, I thought I could knock out like eight okay. questions with it. Neurological exam. Oh, yeah, so.